My friends, the United States is transitioning from a free nation to a police state. The country as we know it is ceasing to exist on every front. Private central banks took over the United States in 1913. They've used this as an engine of global domination, and now they've basically run up the country's credit card and preparing to bankrupt this nation by design. Here's CNN. Central banks start to abandon the U.S. dollar. There's mounting evidence that central banks have little faith in the greenback these days. Can we blame them? Like, they're the good guys, and they're just trying to save us when they're the admitted authors of the catastrophe that is now unfolding. And I'm going to cover that information in a moment. But first, I want to define austerity. This is what the IMF and World Bank, the private holding companies for the private central banks, have done all over the world. They go in, they get countries in debt by design. It's all fiat loans that they give them, so they gain the world through nothing. It's like an Aladdin's lamp. It's just, it's just free money. But with it, they're able to conquer the world. That's what Thomas Jefferson said, that if you ever let private banks issue the currency and credit, our children would wake up homeless on the continent that our forefathers had conquered. And that's now happening. You look at the austerity systems they set up in the third world, it's now being done to Greece, uh, to Spain, to the United States. They take giant loans that they can never pay back. Then when the society collapses, the very banks come in and loan them more fiat money. And now it's happening here. Notice what's developing in Arizona. Obama told Senator Kyle that, well, I'm going to let that crisis and all the thousands of deaths and lawlessness continue because this crisis is good to get amnesty passed. That's holding the country hostage. And what's happening uh, in places like Ohio? Major uh, sheriff's departments are laying off more than half of their deputies and saying the deputies they're keeping are going to be there for revenue generation, writing you tickets, putting people in jail for unpaid fines, but not responding to crime. In fact, in one county, uh, WKYC, NBC reports that they're going to lay off uh, the vast majority of their deputies from 112 to 49. But the sheriff's being honest there. He's saying, go out and buy a gun. You've got to protect yourself. And now the police in Oakland, California, are holding the population hostage, saying, look, uh, if we don't raise taxes, if we don't get more funding, we're not going to be able to respond to serious crimes. The police are saying we're not going to respond to grand theft auto, to burglary, to muggings, to all of these serious things. And as the government grows... You don't get essential services like bridges and roads being fixed. Those are falling apart. You don't get police and fire. Los Angeles is announcing they're not going to fix the sidewalks now. All you get is a parasitic government basically feeding off of you, and it's outrageous. The police are saying, we're not going to protect you. Now, the Supreme Court has always ruled that the police have no liability to protect you, that it's your job to protect yourself. They respond after a crime has been committed. But now they're being completely honest about this and saying, look, you're here for revenue generation for the government. But there's a lot of good news coming in. Arizona newspapers are reporting that the freeway speed cameras are being removed from the entire state because the vast majority of the population have refused to pay the tickets. There is now non-compliance happening all over the state of Arizona, not only to the illegal alien invasion, and the designed implosion uh, of the country to merge us into the North American Union, which is officially stated by the last two White Houses. Uh, but now the public is wearing guns in the open. They're not paying speeding tickets. They're saying, you're an illegitimate government, and we're not going along with this, and the government is having to back off. Here's another example out of USA Today. There is a huge backlash against the naked body scanners. They admit they are recording your naked genitals. It is a biometric scan that's being stored. We've had airport employees get in fist fights when other employees make fun of the size of their sexual organs. And the airlines are getting upset because people aren't flying anymore. And the feds are starting to have to back off what they originally did. They were trying to break our will, to condition us, to make us submit. So the moral of the story is, when we say no, we can have an effect. And we've got to continue to say no and say no in greater numbers because the time is short. This orchestrated implosion of the world economy is a military form of financial terrorism. I told my listeners 11 years ago when they got rid of the Glass-Steagall Act that derivatives would be used to bankrupt our nation and every other wealthy nation because I'd seen the very same private banks do this in the third world. And now here we are, 11 years later, it's happening. And whether it's the New York Times or CNBC, they are admitting that we are now in a depression. 
but even more importantly, the communist Chinese who hold the majority of European and U.S. debt have now downgraded the United States and Europe. They are turning us into actual debtor slaves. And suddenly the globalist think tanks are announcing China will be the future and the base of the new one world government will be China. This is high treason by the leaders of our nation who have always wanted to destroy this country and convert it to a collectivist system where they can manipulate and control every facet of our lives. The bad news is out there. We are going into a global depression. It has been engineered by design. But the good news is worldwide, the population is waking up. And as Bigny Brzezinski said two months ago, that the elite are in trouble because for the first time in world history, the entire planet is awakening. Now is the most important time in modern history. Our society is at a crossroads. And everything you do to get the word out about this outrageous crime that's taking place brings us one step closer to defeating these people. We must say no to the new global currency and the SDRs. We must say no to devaluing the dollar. We must say no to financial reform bill that actually gives these bankers more control over our economy. We must stand up and defend the republic and restore our constitution and remember that the answer to 1984 is 1776. Thank you for watching.